This is Basic Antenna Fundamentals. Here are some key points that we're going to discuss. The principles of EM radiation, introduction to propagation and antennas, and antenna characterizations. This is the principle of the electromagnetic fields. It is an AC current flowing in a wire producing an EM field, resulting in a continuous oscillation of energy along the wire. Now let's touch briefly on propagation. There are basically two types of propagation, ground or surface wave and sky wave. For the purpose of this video, we will mostly be talking about antennas that involve sky wave. There's basically three types of antennas. The simple antenna, which is basically your dipoles and your long wires. The complex antennas, which add additional components to shape the radiation field, provide higher gain for a longer distance or a weak signal reception. Then there's a combination antenna, like phased arrays, which electrically shape and steer the antenna. So the long story short, this is the formula for figuring out wavelength. If wavelength is equal to lambda, basically C is the velocity of light in a vacuum. Lambda is the distance a wave travels during one cycle, and F is equivalent to frequency. Therefore, F is equal to C over lambda. So let's put that in an example. We take the speed of light, which is 3 to the 8th power, over the frequency, in this case, 14.300 megahertz, and we get an answer of 20.9 meters. So let's start out with the basics, a dipole antenna. The dipole is one of the simplest antennas. It's very widely used and the root of many advanced antennas, consisting of two spread conductors of a two-wire transmission line. Each conductor is a quarter wave in length with a total span of a half wave, plus a small gap in the middle. This is a standard dipole configuration. Two wires, each with lengths a quarter wave long. At the feed point, the current is high and the voltage is low, where at the end points, current is low and the voltage is high. Okay, so we need to figure out exactly how long this antenna needs to be. Rather than dealing with meters, we now need to deal with feet. So after doing a little conversion, we come up with a half wavelength is equal to 468 over the frequency in megahertz. That'll give us our overall length of the half wave dipole. So then after doing those calculations, I come up with this chart, which gives us the overall length of a dipole from 160 meters all the way to 10 meters. After that, I converted my calculations to single legs, thus being a quarter wave. And I took that conversion and converted it from straight feet to feet and inches. So now for some examples. If we use 80 meters, 3.8 megahertz, the total overall length is 123.157 feet, or 61.7 feet per leg. Now I always add about 5%. So in this case, we'd use about 65 feet for starters. We can always shorten it up. It's a little bit more difficult to lengthen it. And a second example would be 20 meters, 14.25 megahertz, or 32.842 feet, or 16.5 feet per leg. In this case, I'd use about 18 feet for starters. So so now we've built our dipole and we're ready to see what kind of pattern we're going to get. In a perfect world, our pattern should look like a donut sitting on its side. However, we don't live in a perfect world. In our pattern, quite frankly, it's going to look more like a donut that's been sitting on the cupboard for a few days. Something like this. Most of the reason that it looks like this is due to ground effect. This plot here is for a 20 meter dipole up at about 30 feet. So let's take a top down look at our squash donut. As we can see from the picture, the donut is lined up east to west, while our pattern is primarily north to south. So our dipole antenna is easy to build? Absolutely. There are numerous videos online on how to build one. All you need is some wire and some simple calculations. In fact, if you look around, dipole antennas are all around you. If you look at a ham radio operator's multiband antenna, its roots come right from the dipole. Not to mention common everyday things, like a television antenna, where the roots of the dipole are very visible, as well as your car stereo antenna, where one element of the dipole is sticking out of your vehicle, and the other end is actually the vehicle itself. And let's not forget your cell phone. It has a dipole antenna in it as well. So that is basic antenna fundamentals. I hope this video has been helpful and seven threes from N9LVS.